Miller? Yes. Fine. Yes. Okay, we have some minutes from November 26, 2012. Second motion to approve. Second. Yes. 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 Under new business this evening, we have a resolution, uh, Bill Number 2012-72, a resolution authorizing the city manager to enter into an grease trap inspection program agreement with the Audrain <coughs> County Health Department. This is up for reading and pa uh, passage. Bruce. Yes, Your Honor. The uh, uh, city code requires that we have uh, suitable grease oil or grit interceptors that are installed in, in commercial uh, food uh, preparation businesses. These uh, interceptors, of course, must be uh, uh, maintained and in and, and, and efficient operation by the business owners. And at their expense, uh, the city does uh, require that these uh, grease trap uh, interceptors uh, be readily and easily accessible for cleaning and inspection. Uh, a little history on this, that uh, through our original contract with the City County Health Unit, uh, they were performing these inspections for us as a part of that. As we move into the newly formed Audrain County Health Department, uh, they will continue to do them, but as we see here, there will be a fee to do that, and we're proposing here, um, and, and namely because we're the only city in, that, uh, in their new area that would, does require this separately. Um, now, and of course that keeps a lot of the things from getting into the sewer that shouldn't belong there. So as a part of the uh, agreement that we're proposing here with the uh, uh, actually, the Audrain County Health Department has agreed to continue to do these uh, inspections for us and that uh, uh, an inspection cycle and list will be agreed upon by both parties. The city will pro they'll provide us with monthly reports on them, which they're currently doing, and we will pay them uh, a fee of $50 per year for each business on the grease trap inspection. Uh, we've also included an agreement that if we have any special requests, Inspections that are needed uh, for whatever reasons uh, will be uh, billed separately at a rate not to exceed $25 an hour. And uh, this agreement will be in effect uh, at this point for one year uh, unless we renew it or, or whatever reason. So we want at least want to get this in place, see how it's working by both parties first as, as we proceed into this uh, new era of uh, the way we're managing the, uh, the health department. The agreement is attached. Um, Kevin is here if you have any questions from him as well, but uh, this, uh, st uh, we are certainly recommending that we enter into the agreement with the uh, uh, Audrain County Health Department to uh, do our inspections uh, for the grease traps. Do you have any idea how many that is? Uh, currently on the list that was just sent was 39. So we're going to, I think we're going to be in that 40, 45 range annually depending on which businesses are open and closed or how they move around. So. And there are some that are we need to take a look at. Maybe they should be on the list as well, and we'll be discussing those as well. Um, did um, did we decide if this was going to be uh, charged to our sewer department? Is it that is. correct? You're right. It is charged through the sewer department to, as far as that will be paying the fee out of there, namely because we're trying to keep this from entering the system. So it's, it's a function for there. I guess my question would be, when we went from one to the other, we were told that everything was going to be the same, but now something's not the same. So I have the question of why this is different. Okay, we were told that, that everything was going to go into the Audrain County Health Unit. It was going to be all exactly the same. But now I've got a bill in front of me that says, whoa, whoa everything but this. Right. And so I don't understand how we got to this. The, the, the health unit itself will be, instead of following the city code, they will actually be following state code. And uh, so that is a little different code than they've followed before. I think it's the 1999 state code. Um, and um, currently, the city of Mexico, out of their service area is what I'd call it at this point, is the only one that requires these grease traps. Um, I think you can make an argument they should be in other places, but that's not our jurisdiction to cover. And uh, so this is outside of their, this this would be in addition to the services that they're providing to everyone. So I think that's the best way I would say it. Kevin, do you have any additional comment on how your, your point of that? No, other than that uh, the grease traps typically, um, they don't really fall under the 99 code. I mean, it, it's more of a VOCA, it's more of a, of a city code. We've done this as um, part of public health from when Bill Johnson took over a long time ago. Um, back before when we used to do even um, weed control and all that kind of stuff and everything. So um, this is a, a Sebastian of that era. 
coverage for it, and it probably, we, we, could, we wouldn't do it. It'd be back on the city to do it. Somebody in the city would have to do it if you wanted to do it. And I think it does help a lot with the wastewater treatment plant. Well, oh, I, I understand. I'm just tomorrow morning's coffee drinkers are going to say, well, we voted and they told us that everything was going to be the same, Chris. I mean, that's just what's going to be said. I mean, that's just the reality because that's what that's what was said. That's what all the flyers said. That's what everything. It's going to be exactly the same, but now it's not. So I just want an answer to give them <laughs> because undoubtedly I'm going to get that question. And so, I mean, you know, I agree with what we're doing. I just wanted an answer. So. Any other questions? If not, I move for reading of bill number 2012-72. Yes. 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 Bill number 2012-73, a resolution authorizing the city manager to enter into a trap inspection program agreement with the Audrain County Health <coughs> Department. Whereas the Mexico City Code requires suitable grease, oil, and grit interceptors to be installed in all commercial food preparation businesses, and whereas the city requires such grease interceptors be maintained continuously in efficient operation by the business owner at their expense, and whereas the city requires such grease <coughs> interceptors be readily and easily accessible for cleaning and inspection, and whereas the city desires to make to contract with HCHD to perform the public health related service and function related to the grease trap inspection program for and within the city limits of the City of Mexico. Now therefore get resolved by the Council of the City of Mexico as follows. Section 1, the city manager is hereby authorized to execute an agreement with the Audrain County Health Department to provide grease trap inspections. Agreement attached here to and marked as Exhibit 8. Section 2, this resolution shall be in full force and effect from and after the time of its passage. I move for passage of Bill Number 2012-73. Yes. 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 Under other business this evening, we have a staff report the purchase of one half ton pickup truck for the parks maintenance department. Bruce? Yes, Your Honor. To cover the details of this purchase, I will turn to a Ch Chad Shoemaker. <coughs> The 2012-13 uh, annual budget allows $20,150 for the Parks Maintenance Department to purchase a half-ton 4x2 pickup truck that will replace an existing truck for the department. Um, bids were sent to 11 vendors. It was also advertised in the ledger. Uh, the following bids were received. Um, Offenberg Motor Company uh, bid on a Ford and a Dodge at $25,000 and $23,000 and some odd dollars. Carol Rima Motors um, from Lynn, Missouri at $18,515, Joe Mockins Ford for $17,291, and Pearl Motor Company for $18,164. As you know, it's the council's policy that we give the uh, local vendors a 5% preference. And when we calculated the 5% preference in this particular case, Joe Mockins Ford still got the bid by $9. Um, it was really close, uh, obviously. Um, we don't have the right or authority to go outside of the policies that uh, you've established for us. So, um, you know, we're bringing that to you with the recommendation that we buy from Joe Mockins Ford in Columbia, Missouri. Um, obviously, if the council wants us to do otherwise, we're perfectly willing to do that at any point in time. Um, so, we do recommend that you approve the purchase of the half ton pickup truck from Joe Mockins Ford for a purchase price of $17,291. And this is uh, the superintendent's truck is the one this replaces, which is a 1992 Ford. So, all about protecting the money of our citizens, okay? But also about businesses in our community. And I'm not going to. I say, how much? Seven dollars. Nine dollars. Nine dollars to send our business and our local tax dollars to another city rather than our own local business. I did. I don't like that idea. I don't either. <laughs> make a motion. I'll second it. I make a motion that we buy the truck from Pearl Motors rather than Joe Mockins. Second. Your Honor, if I may make a couple comments. Sure. Under, uh, just to make sure. One is, and, and again, I, I understand your points, 
and I just want to make very clear that we're, we're doing what policies allow and so on. You have the right changes. 5% is uh, what, uh, what's allowed as purchasing policy for those reasons, and this still exceeded that price. And uh, that's why, as staff, we have to fall within those policies and recommend this. Um, and again, if you wish to change that, you have every right to, and we res respect that. I think, though, from the point of the purchasing policy, they would probably have to change that first, Roger? Yeah, the purchasing policy was a passed by ordinance, and it allowed a 5% preference on that size purchase to try to get keep the business local. If we were to go over 5%, we need to pass the ordinance to change in the purchasing policy. Maybe correctly. But we'll get this you know, picked up. Good question. It's a 10% on a lower dollar value, and at that value, it's five. When we buy these items, do we actually go pick them up or do they deliver them over here? We usually have to pick them up and we have to go do paperwork. I, I pick up the paperwork and I bring it to Roger and I get it all signed and I take it back to him as general rule. Well, let's say by the time you count your trips to Columbia, you've already ate up your difference. That's spent your $9. <laughs> <laughs> I, yes, uh, sir. I'd like to make a comment here. I attended some training in, in Jefferson City when I came on city council and that was something they were specific about uh, the, the uh, state attorney general about uh, sticking to your policies particularly your purchasing policies and it's you know it's good to buy local but you're still throwing away the difference between uh, $17,291 and 18 so you're not talking $9 you're no. talking almost a thousand dollars. Correct. And you know, maybe there's some other arguments in there. You know, like where do you got to take the pickup for maintenance? Uh, there's a lot of money involved in that. If you got to yes. drive a vehicle all the way to Columbia and back, you're spending a lot of gasoline. You're spending a lot of other things. So uh, I guess I'm thinking about are there other arguments here that gets it away from just the price? <laughs> That's what uh, that's what concerns me more uh, in this, in being able to keep it local, but not just the price issue is what the concern is. It's the the cost later on down the road when it comes to maintenance, driving it to Columbia, somebody's time to drive it Columbia. You soon eat up that difference. Uh, operationally, that would be my big concern, but the purchase policy doesn't give me any out yeah. uh, and, to and we just, bring that to you. We correct? just faced this uh, how long years ago? ago. We, we did, where one was like 5.1%, and then we, you know, the discussion was where is 5%? Is 5%, 5.0? Where, where do you go? Once you break that barrier, where does that change? And then we had discussions, well, we may have bought it there, but we have a dealer that can service it here. Uh, you know, if it's a warranty issue, you know, it doesn't really matter if you take it to the Ford you bought it from or another Ford dealer or Chevy dealer, whatever car, car you bought, you can bring it to the dealer in, in your local facility for warranty work. That's the question. It doesn't what kind of uh, the same priority, <laughs> but you, you can't. So now I'm just looking for stuff. Just so you know. I, I'm right <laughs> with you guys. I, so what kind of warranty is Mockins providing? Are they it's, it, they're the same, effectively. You, you've got a, the Ford has a, uh, um, a uh, five-year 60,000. I think the Chevy has a five-year 100,000. The reality is we're using this truck in town. It's not going to hit either of those mile thresholds in five years. I mean, I can't honestly bring that to you and say that it would be So different. the Chevrolet's got 100,000 mile warranty on it? I believe that's the way it broke out. Mm -hmm. What are we arguing about then? <laughs> <laughs> One thing I, I would like to add, and, and uh, for those that have been here for a number of years, it's been a long time since we've had bids come okay. from Mockins, and it was because of the policy. You know, they kept submitting bids and kept submitting bids. 
and uh, but most of the time it was way over that five percent difference. Mm -hmm. Now they submitted a bid again, and do we break that five percent? Do we change the order? Yeah. So if I understand correctly, what you said that we would have to defer this. You can reject purchase. The Change the policy, <laughs> and then we'd have to come back at the next meeting and change the policy in January. And then, but what do you change the policy to, though? That's that's a slippery slope. Mm -hmm. no, yeah. That's yeah. the other argument you got into two years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So where do you where do you stop? I just think it's nine dollars. <laughs> well, but I, Ron's point's a good one. Yeah, it's not just nine dollars. Yeah, it's not just nine dollars. No, it just missed by nine dollars. Yeah. How much is too much? Well, we've yeah. got a motion and a second on the table here, so we have to, if we're going to go back to the original recommendation by staff, we have to have to um, withdraw that, I guess, right? You got to vote on it, vote it down. Nice. The, motion. the motion is to go with the higher bid. We can't do that, though. You can't do that. Violates policy. So do they withdraw the motion? You could legally be challenged on that. I withdraw my motion. Begrudgingly. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> you have to withdraw the second one, withdraw the motion. I don't have to withdraw. I have a motion and then I have a second yeah, to withdraw and then I do a call. Yeah. I thought they did, yeah. I hereby, yes. Nichols. Yes. Black. Yes. Williams. Yes. Miller. Yes. Black. Yes. Now are we going to accept staff's recommendation or? Or reject. Or reject it. That's your choices. I move that we accept staff's recommendation. And <clears throat> buy the pickup truck from Joe Mockins. I'll second. Nichols. Yes. Lash. Yes. Williams. Yes. Miller. Yes. Bob. Yes. Okay, uh, next we have a staff report, purchase of GPS equipment for the Public Works Department uh, Engineering Division. Bruce? Yes, I will turn to Kenzie Russell to cover this one. I don't know if this is any more glamorous than sewer defects or not. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, high. you made that one a whole yeah, lot more exciting than I thought topic, you would. We've got one hour. Won't take long, The engineering division has uh, uh, budgeted for uh, GPS equipment, uh, global positioning satellite uh, system equipment uh, in, in the budget this year, and they have uh, solicited uh, quotes uh, from a number of vendors, and uh, you have uh, a tabulation of, of those uh, systems uh, there in your packet. Uh, we are recommending the purchase from uh, field to finish out of Jefferson City of a GPS antenna, data collector, carbon fiber pole, and some training for a cost of $13,350 uh, total cost. Our budget was $16,500. Uh, where this all started, uh, as we developed our GIS system, we realized we would need a way to uh, maintain our asset inventory, uh, and uh, that is location of sewer manholes, storm pipes, and all was done with coordinates, latitude and longitude. Uh, we looked at a mapping grade uh, GPS initially. Uh, we found that with the development of a statewide network by MoDOT that was available to us free of charge, that we could actually get a survey grade GPS, which allows us 
uh, to use it for our survey work as well as for our mapping and GIS uh, work. And the cost differential uh, between what we were budgeting or looking at there and the survey grade is, is roughly $3,000. And so we felt that uh, it was much better investment to go ahead and upgrade our survey equipment uh, as, and, and be able to do our mapping as well. And so that's how we got into uh, this RTK or real-time kinetic uh, system. And so our, our recommendation is the lowest cost uh, of the of the systems we evaluated uh, uh, five antenna systems uh, seven different data collectors and and five software systems and uh, we had the the vendors bring the systems in to be sure that they would be compatible with our uh, drafting software as well as uh, the data collector work with our existing total station so that all of our software and equipment would be integrated and, and usable together. Uh, this system does that and uh, actually uses the same base software that we currently have for our drafting. And so I, I think uh, from a standpoint of both lowest cost and best system, uh, that's what we're recommending. In the tabulation, uh, there's a yellow highlight on the system that we're recommending. I'm making a motion to buy the system with the yellow highlight on it. <laughs> Second. <laughs> system one from field to finish. <laughs> Nichols? Yes. 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 Uh, Bruce, uh, the next item is motion to cancel December 24, 2012 meeting. Well, as we talked, uh, I think a meeting or so ago, we assumed you did not really wish to be here on Christmas Eve. I am hurt. I'll be working anyway. Okay. Okay. Um, so uh, we need a motion to cancel that meeting, and right now we don't necessarily believe we will need a second uh, or follow-up meeting until January, but if we do, we would call a special. But we would also then in that motion of canceling that would to be uh, do any prepaid bills that are necessary. So okay, a motion to cancel. I make a motion to cancel the December twenty fourth city council meeting and what? Prepaid claims as necessary. Prepay prepay claims as necessary. Second. Nicole? Yes. Lash. Yes. Yes. Miller. Yes. Yes. And I'm going to tell your wife you paused on that. <laughs> Next, um, we need to uh, pay the claims. <laughs> uh, I move we pay the bills. Second. Yes. 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 Next, we have council com uh, comments. Councilman Botts. Uh, my wife and I attended the. Uh, uh, Sound of Music yesterday afternoon, and it was an absolutely marvelous performance. Uh, my wife has enjoyed a number of Broadway plays. I've been to some of them. And uh, she commented that she had seen some on Broadway that weren't that good. And they did a, they did a tremendous job, so kudos to everyone who worked so hard to make that come together. That's all I have. I will second that, and bravo, bravo to those fine individuals. I know they put a lot of hard work into it, um, and that's all I have. Mm -hmm. I didn't get a chance to see the play. Working, working, working. When the state did the repairs on Muldrow, we needed to find out how they did that. Because you drive over the, you don't know you're going on top of them. They're just like they disappeared. They're street repair. So that's all I have. I'm uh, wondering, Kenzie, how we're doing on putting up the signs for the no trucks. Uh, all of those signs are up. 
All that are going to be put up or up. Yeah, okay. Everything that was approved in the ordinance, yes. Okay, great. Thank you. That's all. Thank you. Um, I echo those that uh, worked on The Sound of Music. That was a fantastic performance. And uh, um, I think the I noticed in the paper the help set or the uh, food drive is now at uh, approximately 15,000. So we need to make sure that keeps going. <coughs> So that's that's good, and I think that's all I have. But do we have any? Sure. That's why I add one more comment because I won't see many of you till the new year. Um, it's been really an enjoyable year working with many of you in this room. Um, I appreciate, and I'm sure the citizens of this community appreciate everything you guys do on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm going to say Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. And thanks again for everything you do. Okay. Well, I want to make a comment to America. Merry Christmas, guys. <laughs> okay. Anyone else? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now we're ready for public comments. Chief we have does. a presentation. Chief does. She wants Chief. to go. Okay. <coughs> uh, this last week, Thursday, has the Special Olympics kickoff for the year for the torch run and for the polar bear plunge. And at that, uh, at that meeting, we were recognized uh, as outstanding agency of the year for Region 5. Now, Region 5 is the Correctional Center, Boonville, uh, Boone County, Camden County, Camden to Police, Cole County, Columbia, Jeff City. That's all the ones that we were participating against. So. Uh, I think everybody does a great job. They're a standout group of people to work with, and uh, we really support uh, special Olympics. Congratulations. Yep. Okay, any other comments? Okay, uh, next uh, we'd like to adjourn. In, I move we adjourn into executive session pursuant to 610.021 of the revised statutes Missouri pertaining to real estate matters. Nichols? Yes. Lash. Yes. 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 Yes